This is a collection of 14 boxes I have full of key issue comics. Last time we went through this box, which had a lot of really nice quality key issues in it. I think today we are going to go through this box. Let's take a quick look at it. Uh, so yeah, it looks like we have some Copper Age, some Bronze Age, some modern stuff. Okay, let's dig through this box and see what's inside. Okay, let's start digging through this box. We have Avengers 223, the really fun Hawkeye shooting Ant-Man cover. I do like that key issue a lot. Uh, Miracle Man number 15. This is a very low print book, so it's one you want to pick up. It's got quite a bit of value. Uh, and that's something you might find in a dollar bin because it might be under people's radars. Uh, Brave and the Bold number 84. I would love to work on this run a bit. Try to fill in some of the key issues and the harder to find stuff. Uh, Knight Rider number one. Awesome Bronze Age key. Uh, Fantastic Four number 42 in pretty decent shape. You know, a little bit of a spine uh, crease line, but yeah. I like when I can find 12 cent issues in about this grade. It's probably like a 4045. Uh, it's in nice enough grade that you can really enjoy it, but it's not so high that you're going to pay hundreds of dollars for it. Uh, Goose Ray Tales number 30. I don't think this one's worth too much. There's at one point where I'd put anything under 50 in my boxes just because they're kind of hard to find the earlier Grimm's Fairy Tale books. Uh, the Spectre number 54. This is the first appearance of Mr. Holt, something like that. I'm not 100% sure, but it's one that, you know, I was grabbing for a little while to spec on. Uh, Fantastic Four number 37. Another really awesome early Fantastic Four book. Uh, this one's got a bit more damage. So normally, I like to get a little bit higher. Like, this is probably like a 3 0. I would prefer kind of more in the 4 4 5 range or better. Still an awesome book, though. Uh, Black Panther number one. Really awesome book. Uh, Gotham Girls number five. These are books I used to grab out of dollar bins every time I saw them. Just, I think they have really fun covers. And uh, I think the Harley Quinn one is actually quite a. Like, most of these are worth a bit. Number four. But I think the Harley cover, this one is the one that's worth the most. Now, this is a little bit lower grade because it's yellowed, but yeah, I paid a dollar for it. It's always nice to pull out key issues for a dollar. Uh, Amazing Spider Man 431, this really awesome Carnage cover. Absolutely love that one. Uh, another copy of that gorgeous book. Those are dollar bin finds. Number 430. So, another Carnage issue. Uh, what's cool about that is that's like Carnage Eyes Silver Surfer. Tales of Suspense, number 76, really awesome Silver Age book. Captain Marvel, number 26, early Thanos appearance. He's on the cover right there. Uh, A-Force, number one, a really awesome J. Scott Campbell variant. Uh, New Mutants, number 88, second appearance of Cable. All right, uh, Iron Fist, number 15, an awesome X-Men appearance. I loved in the any of these 70s crossover issues with the X-Men. I always loved those as a kid. I still love them today. Uh... Cherry Pop Tart number one. This is quite a valuable adult comic book. It's kind of like a parody of Archie, but you know, it's adult rated. Uh, Avengers number 10, first appearance of Rogue. Kind of a low grade copy, but I probably pulled it out of a dollar bin. I love grabbing keys like that out of a dollar bin, even if they're kind of rough. Uh, Avengers 196, first appearance of Taskmaster. Love that issue. I have a hard time selling that issue because I really do like Taskmaster. Sunfire and Big Hero 6, number 3. I don't know if I ever completed the series. When I get these all sorted together, I gotta see what I need. Uh, Fall of the Hulk, Savage She-Hulk, number 2. J. Scott Campbell cover. Strange Tales, number 158. I love Silver Age Marvel books. Uh, this is one of my favorite Zatanna covers. So we have DC Superstars of Magic, number 11. I need to find a slightly... It's in really nice shape, except it has one crease there and a couple creases here. So it's probably like a 5-0... I really want to get a high grade of this cover. I really love that cover. Uh, Avengers number eight, first Black Order, I believe. Defenders number two. I uh, I gotta see if I have. I know I have a Defenders number one. I'm just not sure where I put it. So I really need to find it. I would like to see if I'm done with that set or if I'm close to completing it. Uh, Heroes Inc. presents Canon. It's a really awesome Hollywood book. Now this is really high grade. This is probably like a very fine, very fine plus. This issue, they found like a whole case of these at some point. Really high grade issues that were never distributed. So these you find in the wild semi-often and they're out there in high grade. So it's not worth that much. Another book from 1969 in this grade probably be worth a ton of money. But it means you can afford it. It's worth picking up because it's such a cool cover. It's a cool issue overall. 
Uh, X Men one thirteen. Love Bronze Age X Men so much. X Men one twelve. Another awesome Bronze Age X Men book. Uh, X Men one hundred four. Do love my Bronze Age X Men. X Men one fourteen. Yeah, this era. This is the stuff growing up that was my absolute favorite. Number one favorite comic. Uh, Uncanny X Men one twenty three. I think that might be his first appearance. I forget. Uh, X-Men number 46. So it looks like I have a little bit of an X-Men collection going on right here. Uh, X-Men 38, a little bit of a lower grade, but I probably... Yeah, it also looks like it's torn right there. But I probably paid really cheap on that. Uh, Marvel Team Up 141, tied for first Black Suit Spider-Man. Really fun cover. It's a book I really like, so, you know, I have a hard time. To, I don't want to sell those. When I get them, I just keep them. Uh, Captain Marvel 17... This is the second cameo appearance of Kamala Khan, but this is the ratio variant. I bought a whole bunch of these for like 2 or $3 each back in the day because I figured it's a Kamala Khan key and it's a ratio, so this will be the one that would be hard to get. I didn't realize the second print would be the one that would be worth a ton of money, but I still think this one has a bit of value to it. Uh, Grimm's Fairy Tale number one. This is... Uh... This might be the B cover. I forget. I know one issue I bought for like 50 cents at some point and one issue I paid $5. I forget which one this was. Uh, but, you know, I got it relatively cheap compared to what it's worth. Uh, another copy of this Kamala Khan key issue. Oh, this is neat. So we have Akira 38. This is the last issue in the run. This issue is expensive. This is probably at least 50 bucks. No, probably approaching 100 though. This is the issue you want to look for. 37 and 38, but 38 is the big expensive one because it's very low print. An amazing comic book. One of my all-time favorite comics. This is one definitely to look out for. Uh, Power Man 48. This is when Iron Fist joins the Power Man comic. So it's a bit of a key. Uh, Venom number one. Just a really fun cover. Ultimates number three. The Frank Cho variant. That is cool. Uh, Irredeemable, number one, a really fun comic. I don't know if that one's gone up in value or anything, but that's definitely one I would spec on. Just, it's a cool comic. Uh, Amazing Fantasy 15, this is the, I think, an action figure reprint. Or either, or a newspaper giveaway. It's not the thin, thin one, but it's just another one of the AF-15 reprints that have come out over the years. Uh, Deadpool, number one from the miniseries. Action Comics 775, First Justice League Elite. I feel like I have a bunch of these in my key issue box. I must have been finding those out of dollar bins at some point. Uh, Fantasy Masterpieces number two. Pretty nice mid to higher grade one. Probably like a 6 oh, maybe a 7, 6, 5, 7. A beautiful copy. I love finding kind of better grade copies of stuff from that era. Uh, X-Force number two, second appearance of Deadpool. Kind of like an overprinted key. So I, this I don't think will ever have much value. But you can find them out there. They're in dollar bins. Uh, what if number one? Super cool key issue. Uh, Dark Avengers number four, a variant. That's a fun cover. Uh, Deadpool number one, a really awesome Amanda Connor cover. Love that. Peter Panzerfaust number three. Peter Panzerfaust number two. And Peter Panzerfaust number one, the second printing. Uh, Tales to Astonish, number 47, awesome early Ant-Man issue. Uh, it looks to be pretty decent. It looks like this corner might have some water damage and some creasing, but the rest of it doesn't look too bad. Awesome, awesome book. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man, number 60, an awesome King Bun cover. Love that issue. Ooh, a 10-cent Wonder Woman. That is sweet. Uh, kind of a lower-ish grade, maybe like a 3-0. But yeah, Wonder Woman number 93. I think that might be my oldest Wonder Woman. I really would like to pick up a lot more Wonder Woman books if I could. They're expensive though. Uh, Avengers number 46. Awesome Silver Age Avengers book. Tales of Suspense number 72. Another awesome Silver Age book. Okay, let me clear these stacks a little bit. Okay, every time I hit this part of my collection... Uh, so I really, really like the covers on the Ultimate Fallout. So number 5... Uh, back in the day, number four was 100 bucks, And I was like, I, I don't want to pay $100 for a comic. And I really, really regret it. It's one of my few regrets of stuff I didn't pick up like 10, 12 years ago that I should have picked up. And it's one reason why I pick up a lot more now. i rather buy it and not regret it and then maybe have to sell it because it doesn't go anywhere than to miss out on it. Because, you know, if I bought one of these for 100 bucks, what is it, twenty to $40,000, say? Like... That loss, just not buying it, makes up for any overpayment I would have made over the years. So, 
I still love having these though. Number five. And I mean, I think they still have a little bit of value just because they're connected to that number four. Number three, another beautiful copy. Um, but the one thing I did do was I bought the second print. I paid a dollar for this. This is I almost like this one better than the first print because his head's not chopped off. You see his face. So really awesome. First appearance of Miles Morales, second print. I think these are worth between one and 200, maybe three, 400 if it's a nine, eight. And these are all pretty high grade. So I bought one, I bought two, I bought three, I bought four, I bought five. I was pretty confident Miles would go somewhere. I bought six. So that's six copies. I think I have four more copies of the second print that I paid a dollar for. So I know I bought 10. This one has a little bit of wear on it. 10 at a dollar. I bought two of the white second print cover. I, and I probably have four to 10 of the first print floating around somewhere. Uh, I just got to find them all. <laughs> I got to mix throughout all my collection. But yeah, that was one book that I'm happy I grabbed a bunch of. Okay, and then we have Amazing Spider-Man number 56. A pretty decent condition copy. Beautiful Doc Ock cover. Absolutely love that issue. Amazing Silver Age book. Uh, Mighty Avengers number 63, another beautiful Silver Age book. I really need to sort and figure out what I need in the Silver Age because I would like to start working on these runs a bit more. I would like to be down to just like major grails and have everything else. Um, Amazing Spider-Man number 49, a little bit lower grade, but still an awesome book. Amazing Spider-Man number 67, another beautiful book. Uh, Infinity Gauntlet number three. I used to pick these up out of dollar bins all the time. Infinity Gauntlet number two. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy number 0.1. Really fun cover. Really like that issue. I think that's a variant. Yeah, it's a variant. Don't know if it's a ratio or anything, but still a cool cover. Uh, Brave and the Bold number 87. I do really want to work on this run. I just, I love the covers on this. It's a gorgeous cover. Really, I just like the composition of that cover. Uh, Evangeline number one. I have no idea if this is worth anything. It's one, two, three times signed. It's a convention exclusive, so it might be a rare book. Uh, I can't say I love the cover or anything. It, it's okay. It's not great. But, you know, it's an interesting looking book. So it might, you know, it might have some value. I don't know. I, just, I like obscure stuff like that. I just like to hold on to. Because maybe one day they'll do something with that character and it'll be worth a lot. All right, we have uh, Spider-Woman number one. Really fun key issue. Uh, Deadpool number one. Amazing Jeff Darrow cover. Huge fan of Jeff Darrow artwork. So I love that cover. Uh, X-Men 122, another beautiful uh, Bronze Age X-Men book. Absolutely love these. Uh, Batman the Dark Knight Returns. This is the collected trade paperback. So it collects all four of the individual issues. I think that has a bit of value. Uh, let's see. Danger Girl Special. J. Scott Campbell. Just kind of a really fun, sexy cover. Uh, it's the Dynamic Forces exclusive. I don't know if it has a ton of value, but I'm pretty sure it has some value. Uh, okay, another second appearance of Deadpool. Uh, like, not a book I'm that excited to have, but, you know, it's a key issue. Uh, Ultimate X number one. First appearance of uh, Wolverine's son, I believe. This is... I don't know if it's a ratio variant or the B variant, but I think this is a little bit more desirable issue. Absolutely love the cover. I think the way she looks great. I love the coloring on her sweater. I think just the whole composition looks awesome. You have the fire... I forgot her name, but she's like hiding in the background. Awesome Arthur Adams artwork, though. I love that. Ah, uh, okay. This is a fun issue. So this is an Italian reprint of Captain Marvel number 14, the 1 in 25 ratio, which is the first cameo appearance of Kamala Khan. I, um, back in the day, that book is a ghost. I've, you know, there's only a handful of them out there. Uh, back in the day, I scoffed at paying $100. I should have just paid $100 because now it's, you know, worth thousands. Um, but by the time I was ready to buy it, it was like a few hundred. I couldn't afford it or I couldn't even find it. So I decided to get the Italian reprint because this one's in foil and it just looks really cool. I think I paid about 75. It's probably still worth about 75. Beautiful cover though. Amazing Amanda Connor artwork. Uh, let's see. Spectre number 62. Oh, I got to put a new bag and board on that one. Um, this is, I think, the second appearance of Mr. Holt or whoever it is. That's the first appearance in that series. Uh, X-Men Second Coming number one. A really awesome David Finch cover. I think that's a ratio variant. Um, X-Men number 512. Another really fun... I think it's a ratio variant. If not, just a really fun cover. And anything with Dazzler on the cover. I You know, if Taylor Swift ends up going to be Dazzler. 
all this Dazzler stuff is going to go crazy in value because the Taylor Swift fans are rabid. Just see what they're doing to the economy right now. So Dazzler issues, maybe it's time to buy what you can. Uh, Wolverine Origins number 38, a really fun homage to that famous uh, after World War II ending photo. Absolutely love that cover. That's awesome. All right, we got uh, Walking Dead 127. I believe it's her first appearance. Uh, oh, Yusugi Yojimbo number one. Love this book. Uh, in my mind, I feel like I bought a collection a long time ago with the uh, second Albedo issue. I think I have it. I just haven't been able to find it. I'm really hoping I have it buried somewhere because if I don't have it, it's going to be a really expensive issue to pick up. Absolutely love Yusugi Yojimbo though. Uh, a World number one, uh, Milo Monara variant. Love his artwork. Beautiful, beautiful cover. Uh, Uncanny Avengers number eight, another Milo Monara cover. Another beautiful book. Uh, Flash number one from the New 52. One copy. Oh, and Teen Titans number one from the New 52. I didn't realize I had two in there. I need the bag and board the second one. Uh, Captain America 360. I always forget what issues the first crossbones. I know it's around here. I'm guessing if I put it in the box, that's probably the issue. Oh, we have Johnny the Homicidal Maniac number three. Not sure what printing this is. I buy every issue of this series I see in dollar bins. This, I think it's a really fun series. Uh, Johnny the Homicidal Maniac number five. Same thing. And I think, yeah, number six. I think six is the end of the series. Lots of different printings of those. <laughs> uh, X-Force number two. Again, second Deadpool. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 362, which is the second appearance of Carnage, I think. And this is the second print. Uh, Deadpool number two. I do really like this late 90s Deadpool series. I like collecting that. Uh, Wolverine number 67, Old Man Logan appearance. Love that. I think that's the second issue. Uh, Silver Surfer 34. This is when Thanos joins the storyline. Uh, Batman New 52 number two. Johnny the Homicidal Maniac, number seven. I'm sorry, number seven would be the end run on that. Uh, Ultimate X, number one. Another copy of this. Absolutely love that cover. Beautiful, beautiful book. Uh, Wolverine Old Man Logan, number 66. This is the third printing of the first appearance of Old Man Logan. Love that book. Uh, Evil Ernie, number three. That's super cool. I still need number one and two. I would like to get them because that's the first appearance of him in number one and the first appearance of Lady Death. Kind of a major copper age key. Uh, Wolverine Old Man Logan, issue number 70. I love those. Those are another series of books I picked out of dollar bids every time I saw them. Uh, Green Lantern 201. I feel like this is the first appearance of Kilowog and maybe a couple of other characters. Awesome, awesome Green Lantern key. Uh, Wolverine Old Man Logan, number 71. This is just a really awesome cover. I think, yeah, second print. Love that cover. Awesome issue. Uh, Giant Size Wolverine, Old Man Logan, number one. That's a crazy cover. All right, first issue special number eight. I believe the first appearance of Warlord. Really fun cover. Doorway, the Nightmare, number one. First appearance of uh, Madame Xanadu. That's a fun key issue. Alias, number 24. I think this is the first appearance of the Purple Man. That was the major villain in the TV series. Uh... Brave and the Bold, number 82. Awesome, awesome cover. Another beautiful uh, Silver Age book. Love that. Marvel Feature Presents, number 12. I think this is the second, you know, kind of Marvel 2-in-1 precursor before they started the Marvel 2-in-1 series. Absolutely love that one. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man, number 99. Do love my, you know, Silver Bronze Age Spidey books. Uh, Miss Marvel number 25, I believe. Yeah, that's the variant cover. Avengers Invaders number one. A really awesome cover. It's a dynamic forces. Uh, let's see. Limited to 3,000 copies. I do like those dynamic forces when I find them. Uh, Psylocke number three. Really fun David Finch cover. Batman, Harley, and Ivy number three. Absolutely love this Bruce Tim cover. Gorgeous comic. Uh, Batman, Harley, and Ivy number two. Another amazing Bruce Tim cover. Absolutely love those. Uh, Batman, Harley, and Ivy number one. Another beautiful cover. 
Avengers Children's Crusade number three. Awesome uh, Arthur Adams one. Gotham Girls number two. Uh, this one, again, is a little bit yellowed, but I pulled it out of a dollar bin. Love getting those when I can find them. Uh, Darkwing Duck. Not sure the issue. I'm guessing this issue probably has some value to it because I think it's a low print run. And it just it's a really, really cool book. Uh, Batman number 198. Awesome, big, thick, giant size cover with an awesome cover. Love that issue. Uh, wah, wah. H Hero series number three, a Steve Ditko Bronze Age book. Really fun, kind of underground book to get. And uh, finally, in the box, we have Flex Mentallo number two. I like collecting this series. It's just a really fun series, and it was fun that he showed up in the Doom Patrol show. All right, that box was a ton of fun. Look for another one of these key issue boxes in a video very soon.